insisting on. Oh. <clears throat> Greetings, as we come to this, the second month of our second isolation. I'm, uh, I'm speaking to you from the vicarage where I've been very busy tidying. Those of you who were with me last Sunday will know that this room was crammed with chocolates and snacks from the floor to the ceiling. So uh, who doesn't like a Costco bulk buy, eh? <laughs> well now, voila, it's all gone in record time. I'm having a very thorough cleaning tidy up there. Yum, yum. <clears throat> ah, yes, now. Before I get on to my message, uh, there were just a couple of misprints in the uh, parish newsletter. I'd like to uh, correct, if that's okay. So, uh, firstly, I meant to congratulate uh, Julie Barker and Lucy Clackett on having babies, not rabies. So, uh, <gasps> sorry if I caused a little bit of panic there. <laughs> uh, secondly, uh, I suggested going for a walk in the woods. So uh, could the group of elderly gentlemen who have taken that misprint literally, please stop doing that immediately. So, so thank goodness for modern technology, eh? Because last night I had the first meeting of the, the Dibley Parish Council conducted via the app Zoom. And I have to tell you, it was the best parish council meeting I've ever had, largely because none of the other councillors know how to use Zoom. So it was just me on my own making all the decisions. It was lovely. I mean, none of them really actually have computers, to be honest. So uh, one of them called me. Uh, to say he'd uh, gone out and bought an apple. And when I asked him what version, he said, uh, Granny Smith. Which brings me to my message, which is that life goes on. This too shall pass. And it's, and it's right, really, that we don't dwell too much on the sadness, but try to think about all the happiness. Like my time in Dibley, when I... When I think back over it, I had some really lovely moments. I had some difficult too, but uh, I like to focus on the on the good times, like being invited to four Christmas lunches, <laughs> roast potatoes, yum yum. Oh, here's a little Christmas gaget for you. Santa goes to the doctor and he says, uh, "Doctor, I think I have a little problem." And the doctor says, "Oh yes, Mr. Claus, what is it?" He says, I think I've got a mince pie stuck up my bottom. And the doctor says, oh, goodness me, Mr. Claus, that doesn't sound good. Bend over, let's have a look. So he bends over and the doctor says, oh, yes, indeed. You do appear to have a mince pie stuck up your bottom. The good news is we've got some cream for that. <laughs> got some cream for that. Yes, well, perhaps this uh, Christmas stick to brandy snaps. <clears throat> Three months till Christmas. <laughs> now, another way to keep your spirits up is, of course, physical exercise. And I thought this might be a good time to uh, share my exercise regime with you. So, um, sit back in your seat, shoulders back, good posture is very important. <clears throat> right back in your chair, hands on hips, head up, and there you go. Of course, some people like to do a little more exercise than that, but, uh, well, frankly, I, I can't be bothered. So, uh, anyway, anyway, I bid you farewell. And as I do that, I would like to say to you to be safe, be kind, eat chocolate, praise the Lord, praise our amazing healthcare workers. And of course, while you're at it, perhaps uh, praise our supermarket workers who, uh, quite frankly, aren't really seeing the best of some of us at the moment, are they, Karen, talking to you? Actually, while we're at it, we should probably stop all the, the Karen jokes too. I know some really lovely Karens. So, I digress. 
let us keep focused on the 19th of October where I'm hoping that we will once again be able to see each other in the flesh. However, uh, if it all goes pear-shaped, there's always chocolate and wine. I'm sure it's it's five o'clock somewhere. And uh, and they've developed these uh, new low-fat communion wafers. Yes, they're called, uh, I can't believe they're not Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, do take care. God bless. And thank you for watching. Now, I'll work out how to turn this thing off.